The message cult that I grew up in was much different than William Branham's message cult of personality that exists today. Many of the rules governing the bride, as we called ourselves, rules that were established by William Branham himself, were followed strictly to the letter. Since our family's escape in 2022, many of those rules have changed, been forgotten, or altogether ignored. One such rule was that of watching television or movies. As a child raised in William Branham's cult of personality, television and movies were strictly forbidden, except for when they weren't. My family, like others, got rid of their television because William Branham told us to. Some family members had a television because William Branham told them to. I have family members who went with the Branham family to watch movies in the theaters and watch television in the Branham home. My grandfather, who was the pastor at the Branham Tabernacle for over 50 years, preached strongly against television and movies because William Branham told him to. Yet he and my grandmother went to movie theaters with William and Mita Branham. And in Grandpa's later years, he had a monitor for the purpose of watching old black and white television shows and children's movies. All of this has made me very curious to explore the internal conflicts of William Branham's doctrine of television and movies. Listen as William Branham himself explains his position on television and movies. The old wheels grind slow, but it grinds sure. It's got to be just the way God said it was going to be. No matter how unreal it seems, but it's going to be that way. As we talked last night, one time they didn't have electricity, but some men believed there was such a thing, and he kept working tireless hours until he discovered what it was. And same thing by television, by automobile, and so forth. God put all these things here for our benefit. And we find other things that used to be it was wrong for uh, holiness people to, to attend bioscopes or movies, you know. Now they go all the time, see? And then Satan pulled a faster on it and put the television right in your house and, and fixed it in there. But all these things that it used to be wrong. The other night, my children was telling me that on the television they was going to have a play called The River of No Return. That's where I called the world record rainbow. Down there one time, the Christian businessman. And they wanted me to see if that was a river, go to a place of television and see if, if that was a river. And Don Smith, the guy taking this girl down, there she was on television, the same girl that I've seen has been dead a year. I might have said something like this. He said, you know, when I was a little boy, we lived out by Jericho. I remember my Jewish mother used to rock me to sleep in the afternoon, take my afternoon nap. I used to look up in her eyes and she'd tell me Bible stories. And you know that's a good thing for any mother to do to her child. Bring up a child the way it should go. It'd be better to turn on the television and watch uh, some of these here things that goes on on the television. It'd be better off if you read him a Bible story. Because it's impressing his little mind. The other night on a television program, my mother called me. They had a Methodist pastor right here in Indiana teaching rock and roll in the church. It's a shame that we have failed to see this beautiful art that goes into the church. That's the devil in a few nights, about two nights before I come down here, my, I believe Brother Leo there called me or come up and told me, he said, run out your mother's turn on the radio right quick. The Methodist church in Indiana, a great Methodist church, was on the television having a rock and roll party. It's out of the doors of your eyes. If God could only open that door, you look on the television and you see old robbers praying for the sick, miracles happen. You go into the churches, it becomes so common to you, you don't notice it no more. Here the other day they called me in a room to watch uh, Billy Paul, I believe some of them had said there was a, a religious program on the television. We don't have television, it won't be one in my home, never. But there was a if you want them, that's up to you. But uh, uh, God told me not to do it. Now, I believe in these ministries that we have today across the world, one different from the other. I was watching Brother Oral Roberts just a few moments ago in the room. They have a television in the room that the, they had for me. And I, was, I heard him announce it, Oral Roberts. And I went over and turned the television on, they did, and 
I seen an oral praying for a little sick baby from up in Canada, had a bad eye, and uh, uh, I believe the parents was Catholic, and Brother Roberts in his real way of faith, he slammed his hand down on the little baby and prayed for it, and the little baby was healed. A few weeks ago when I was watching a, a program out of one of the filling stations I was standing in of our great brother Billy Graham when he was making his greatest revival he had or had the greatest revival in California. What do they say? When they see old Roberts on the television and the little sick children or little crippled maybe get healed in these meetings or A.A. Allen or, or any of the rest of the brothers. What do they say about that? They say it's the telepathy or, or psychology. They're only, only mentally worked up. Always keep my meetings rather small because that I don't have to, to beg for offerings to pay off the expenses. If one thing I think that I glory in the Lord Jesus for helping me in that manner, I don't have nothing that I have to support like a radio program or television program or anything. It's great to be here with me, Justin. The television on me now and see me in California, yet I'm here. I can't find an old Roberts this morning on the television. It sits in my room. I finally found it. What happened to Craig? What happened to the Saints of the Bible? You're going to have to answer Hollywood. That's why right, Hollywood. That's why right, Hollywood. Recently, he's got a lot of Hollywood evangelistic preachers. Gentlemen, down on the back one, spent two hours in their office. Did you notice the rallies on the television? Nixon to be printer all man. All of them want to kiss Kennedy, the women, jump the straddle of the cars and everything like that, jumping up and down. The devil throw out a television, Hunter, and then God worked it around the throw man on the television that ever drunkard in the bar room or wherever he is will stand without an excuse. But if there's any body in this city or around about within the reach of television that'll be lost at the last day, it won't be because that Brother Perry didn't put forth ever effort to try to get people to Christ. Amen. You put it in the movies, and you try to keep your kids away from the movies. You holiness people, you good people. Amen. You people are trying to preach the truth. You Amen. people are trying to stand by it. And the devil is trying to get one jump ahead. You know what he does? He put it right in your house in the name of television. Yes, sir. I want to greet the folks who is on the telephone hookup tonight across the country, all the way from California to New York and Texas and, and up the different parts of the nation, from Maine to California. So we got a, a system of hooking up uh, these telephones that's been a great blessing. And now we understand through our good friend, Brother Perry Green, that they've got a, a little gadget they can put on your television set. And not only will it be on the telephone, but it'll be televised right in your television set also. And they're seeing about it now.